Well, good morning, YouTube. So today I'm going to walk you through a typical day on solar power. So right now it's about 8.15 in the morning and the sun hasn't come up over the trees yet. And we're just getting started. So if we look at the array, we don't have any sun on there yet except for you can see where it's just starting to hit that first panel. So let's see where we're starting from. I reset both of the watt meters a minute ago and we're pulling about a thousand watts in the house right now. You see we're at 74% state of charge and we're losing 18 amps right now and we're bringing in just about 23 watts and it's about 820. Now we get to about 845 this is really going to start ramping up. Alright so let's let that sun come on up. Okay so here you can see that everything is on the utility on this side and over here we just have a few things that are on solar overnight. So the basic idea here is that we're trying to shift the load curve into the middle of the day when the sun is shining. So overnight, you know, we're not gonna we're gonna keep everything off the pool pumps, water heaters, big air conditioners, all that kind of stuff is just gonna sit idle. And then we'll try and use all that stuff when the sun is shining. Okay, so here you can see just in the last 10 minutes we're starting to get some sun in the bottom corner of the array. Starting to get a little sun on the solar heater. Okay, we're up to about 8.30 and we're burning about a thousand watts in the house. Uh, we've got a net negative of 550 watts coming out of the batteries. Dropped to 73% state of charge. But the sun is climbing. Let's go look at that panel again. Okay, it's been only about 20 minutes and you can see that our array already has quite a few panels that are in sun. Now these are in groups of four and that's important from the shading point of view. So the lower left corner you have four panels that are all in the sun. So we're going to start seeing some power coming in. Let's go check it. So typically I'll roll out here about 845 and by that time we're up to close to a thousand watts coming in. And see here we're plusing eight amps. And so now this, I'm going to go ahead and start switching on the air conditioners and stuff in the house and start pulling some of this power. So let's do that. I'll go ahead and start with this guy over here. A wall unit. This should pull about 500 watts. When the compressor kicks on. Uh, so you can see a little jump from that one window unit. And so now we're pulling about a thousand watts or so in the house. And we got about a thousand watts coming in, which gives us plus one amps. Breaking even. Let's go turn some more stuff on. All right, so we're just going to switch stuff over to the solar. I'm not going to turn on the pool pump yet or the water heater or any of that kind of stuff. So we'll hold off on that till we get a little more sun. Okay, I got this guy on. There we go. Okay, so after switching on the three window units and a few other things, we're pulling about 1800 watts and negative 16 amps, still at 73%. And our sun is up to about 11, 1200 watts coming in. So we'll just let this roll for a little while, and then we'll throw some more stuff on here as the sun comes up. Okay, so it's 9 a.m., and we've got about 20 of the panels are in the sun now. Let's see what kind of power we're producing. Yeah, so we're pretty close to 2,000 watts coming in, and we've got about 2,000 watts going out to the house. 
So we're kind of breaking even, still sitting at 73%. We'll just let it go for a while. Then we'll turn some more stuff on. Okay, so it's time for a little mountain house breakfast. Split this on, heat the water. What do we got here? 1440 watts. And you see it here. 2400 on L1. So 1400 of that is that little uh, water heater. Well, it looks like we got over 3000 watts coming in from the panel. So still plusing. Ah, and it kicked off. Let's go eat some food. All right, it's 9.45 in the morning and we are in full sun. So let's get some more stuff going. I'm going to turn on the pool pump and we'll run it all day. All right, so here's the pool pump. It's cranking up. All right, so we're at about 3,600 watts and coming in. And we're still plus and 13 amps using 2600 or so watts in the house 75 percent state of charge all right so we're getting up to speed we'll wait a little while and then we'll look at doing some laundry hitting the water heater i okay, got my pool cleaner going it's all running on the solar okay it's 11 a.m and we're gonna put on the old water heater 3,500 watts. So now we're pulling about 6,500 watts in the house. And that's negative 30 amps, 82% state of charge. Got about 5,300-ish watts coming off the panel. So far today, we've pulled about six kilowatt hours, six or seven. Okay, so it looks like we're pulling about 5,000 something watts off the panel. And we're running, all together in the house, we're running the refrigerator, the freezer, three window air conditioners, the pool pump, and the water heater, a computer, two computers, and various other base loads. So it all adds up to about 6,000 watts, a little over. Um, we're dropping 11 amps out of the batteries and we're at 82% state of charge. Alright, so this would be a good time to do a load of laundry. That'll burn up some of the hot water. Okay, so one of the key things is to only use the hot water heater during the middle of the day when the sun is shining. I mean, only heat water, okay? So you can think of it as like a battery. This thing is storing three to five kilowatt hours of energy. And, you know, we can use that hot water for days. We also have another 50 gallon hot water heater outside the solar water heater. So really we're sitting on 100 gallons of hot water and we only heat it up when the sun is shining. Now let's just take a look at our solar water heater. Take a look here, it's 160 in the box. Of course, the sun's probably shining right on this, so it might not be really accurate. Yeah, so it looks like it's about 102 out here right now, but we are using this for the washing machine, so it probably was hotter. Um, and when we stop using it, it'll heat up to probably 130-ish, around 3 p.m. And it helps out. Okay, so this is just uh, viewing it through my security camera. So here we're pulling 6,500 watts. That's three window air conditioners, pool pump, water heater, and all the base loads. Negative 15 amps coming out of the batteries. Well, oh, okay, 89% state of charge. Over here, I see a little different view. You can 
can see the day going on. Looks like we pulled about 13 kilowatt hours so far today. Just keep going. Okay, so it's about 1.15 in the afternoon and we're going to run the dryer. I don't normally run the dryer that much on the solar, but we'll go ahead and put it on there. It's about 6,000 watts, a little over. So I'm going to turn some of this other stuff off, like the water heater and the pool pump, and then we'll crank this up. So here's the water heater, turn that off, and the pool pump, turn that off, and then the dryer, put that on solar. There we go. Let's go check the meter. There. Okay, and you can see we're pulling 7,000 watts. This system's capable of doing 8,800 continuous. I don't really like going much over this. It's kind of maxed out for me. I have to leave a little bit of headroom there. We're dropping, uh, we got 26 amps coming out of the batteries. We're at 91%. Pulling 6,350 ish watts off the panel. Alright, that's the dryer, two air conditioners, and all the base loads. Everything else is off. Okay, starting up another load of laundry. The dryer's still going. The dryer's been going for maybe 10 minutes or so. Let's see what we got here. We're at 17 kilowatt hours for the day. Pulling about 7,000 watts. 161, 122 on the second inverter. Don't want them to get too hot. They work too hard. Okay, so the dryer's done. Switch that off and we'll pool pump back on and we'll switch the water heater back on so I've got the solar array that's driving this pool pump but I'm diverting the water out to my solar heater and heating the pool so this is the solar heater for the pool. Uh, it's a half inch PVC, one mile of half inch PVC laying in the sun, heating up. We just run the pool water through here and heats it up. Keeps the pool up around 86 degrees. Um, boy, I don't know, maybe eight months out of the year, something like that. This is about eight years old. It, uh, it's hanging in there. Still working. Okay, so it's about 5.30, pulling in about 750 watts. Let this go a little too long with all the loads on there. So it drained the battery down to 93, and we're losing 43 amps. So I'm going to go ahead and shut everything off and see if we can get them to charge up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shut stuff off. Here's the pool pump. That's one air conditioner. That's another air conditioner. And just other stuff in the house. So now we're mostly back on the utility, except for computers and some base loads. And you can see there's only about one, two, three, four, five panels that are still in the sun. So the sun's going down. 
and cut this one off as well. Okay, so now we're plus and five. Let's see if we can get it to come up a little bit. So we ended up using about 28 kilowatt hours of power in the house and we put about 9 kilowatt hours into the battery bank for a total of 37.25 kilowatt hours used. We also used some power from the utility but I didn't measure that. It's probably around 25 kilowatt hours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.